and welcome to Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. It's day nine of the games. And we are at the Ariaki Arena for some wheelchair basketball action. It's a classification game here as the Republic of Korea take on the Islamic Republic of Iran, looking for ninth place in the 2020 Paralympic Games. Coming up later in this session, the women's classification game, Great Britain and Spain, going to sort out seven and eight. Here's how they got there. Both these teams with one win and four defeats in their group play. Korea in Group A, they finished fifth. Uh, their one win was against Colombia and Iran in Group B their sole victory coming against Algeria, although they did finish well and uh, push Great Britain pretty hard. Almost beat Germany as well. But wasn't to be for them, Koreans. As you can see, fifth in Group A. Having uh, beaten Colombia, they finished ahead of them despite the fact both had one win on the board. Well, here's the lineup for the Islamic Republic of Iran. And uh, Mohammed Hassan Sayari has been a leading scorer in these Paralympic Games with an average of 22 points per game. But perhaps the lack of other scoring options has been the challenge for Iran. There he is, the tournament's top scorer, but their second highest scorer. Is that man there, Hamali, but he only averages nine points per game. So you could just find a few more ways of putting the ball in the basket. And he might have had a better shot at it in the group stages, but as it is, they uh, are here now and trying to match their second best showing in the Paralympic Games. They were eighth in Beijing, ninth in Athens, 10th in Rio. Here's the Republic of Korea lineup for you. And they've got a couple of big scorers. Kim Dong-hyun has been averaging 17 points per game. Whilst uh, Cho there in the center of your screen has been averaging 15 a game. Well, whatever happens, they are guaranteed their best ever finish at a Paralympic Games. They were 11th in Sydney in 2000, 16th in Seoul, but they will be 9th or 10th here. So they will see that as very good progress, having A, qualified, and B, got their best ever finish at a Paralympic Games. Well, the two teams have been introduced. We will pause now for the national anthems. And first up, we have the national anthem of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Now the national anthem of the Republic of Korea.
Well, two teams, as they uh, have done throughout the tournament, will acknowledge each other either side of half court before heading back to their respective ends to go through the final layup lines or shooting drills, however they like to get ready for the ball game. Well, of course, uh, we've seen the two teams out on court, but as ever in the sport of wheelchair basketball, the third team is there as well, led by our referee from Great Britain, Ben Wood, and he's supported by the two umpires from Australia, Helen Rosenberg, and from uh, Spain, Hector Jamona, and our commissioner on the table, Anking Ku, supported, as you can see, by an array of uh, table officials and statisticians, without whom the game couldn't get underway. It's been uh, a well-officiated tournament throughout, as you would expect at this level. And they will do their best to ensure that continues here today as Korea and Iran look to decide the order of the classifications, ninth and tenth on the line. This is the starting lineup for Iran. Obviously, Sayari and Kamali are the high point uh, scorers. But uh, Sadapur has had some good performance. So too Abdi as well. And Mohammed Najad, the one point player, does an awful lot of. Uh, the hard work for his team to free up the higher pointer shooters. And Coach Kucheki will be hoping that his team get off to a good start, get in their rhythm early on in this game. Because he'll know there are some dangerous shooters at this end of the floor. Cho and Gim, we've already uh, talked about. Oh, it's uh, very uh, aggressive defensively, getting in the passing lanes. Kim Ho Young also in the starting lineup and the one-pointer, Lee Ng Jai, will begin the game for Coach Ko. As I say, already a historic games for them. It was a tremendous uh, performance for them to qualify. And obviously, not a great deal of experience in the team. Just Kim Ho Young, the only survivor 20 years later, 21 years later, incredible really, played in Sydney. And still out there starting for his team, the number four. Here we go then, 10 minutes on the clock here at the Aki, Ariaki Arena. It is the Republic of Korea against the Islamic Republic of Iran for ninth and 10th in the classification here in the men's wheelchair basketball Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. <laughs> Here's Cho on the first offense, working the screen, getting into the lane, but his shot rims out. Here's the Paralympics leading scorer with his first touch of the ball. He almost fires up and the first offense, but he moves it on to Kamali. Sayari might get a shot away this time at the elbow. Lines himself up, Cho with a hand to make it a little bit more difficult. Oh, cross court, it goes to Cho. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Joe at the elbow. Banks one in off the glass. First points of the game are on the board for Cho Seong Hyun. A very low paced offense here from the Iranians. Sayari trying to dump the ball inside to Mohammad Nuzad, but they get it back. Time running out on the offense. Shot goes up and off the mark from Sadaphor Mohagadam. Here's Cho. Looking to get into the paint as well. Sees O there. O wants a foul. Referee's happy with the play. Kamali. Back to Sayari. Oh, nice shot from the corner from... Uh, Kamali for Iran's first points of the contest. Here's Gim. Cho around the screen. No room on the baseline for Cho. Looking to get it out towards Gim, but the pass wasn't high enough. Mohammed Nazad with the steal. It's Hassan Abdi out in front, forced to recycle back out. Inside to Ciara, he's got good position, and if he gets there, well, it's points on the board guaranteed. Odong Sok moves it on to Cho, look for a second like he might have a lane to the basket, but quickly cut off, here's Kim. Cross court to Cho, has it knocked away by Kamali, but it comes out over the baseline off Muhammad's wheel. 2.2 on the shot clock for the Koreans. Nice cut and a great finish. Just uh, Caught the defense napping there, Lee Byung Jai. And the one point player with the reverse lay in over his head. Kamali to Sayari, almost has his pocket picked by Kim. He's able to keep hold of possession. Tough shot. Slightly off balance. Muhammad in there with the rebound. Still fighting for it. And there's a foul called. Kamali takes the contact with the conversion. He will go to the line for a bonus shot. Good work in the first place from Muhammad Muhammad Najad to keep that alive for his team. Free throw short, but it bounces right into the hands of Sayari. Cho with his hands in the passing lane, steals it away. Good recovery from Kamali to knock it out of bounds. Korean ball from the side. Oh, to Cho. His shot rims out. Oh, good rebound. But an unfortunate bounce of the ball. Mohammed got it. I don't know if somebody got a little touch on it to knock it out of his hands, but it came off his legs and out of bounds. Active on the glass, though, in the early stages. Mohammed Najad at both ends of the floor. Kim spinning baseline. 
Cross court, does that have enough? Just got it to Cho. Cho dumps it off. And uh, Lee in the paint is fouled. He'll shoot two. Mohamed uh, Najad call for the foul. Lee Byung Jai at the foul line. He's shooting at 60% from this distance in these Paralympic Games. And he makes no mistake with those two. Tsiari going at pace, but it's tapped loose by Cho and into the backcourt. I don't know if Sayari's just hurt his finger there. He seems to have done a little damage, whether he trapped it on the wheel or something. And it's a turnover, though, by Iran. Tied at six here midway through the opening quarter. Not anymore as uh, Kim ho Jong gets Korea back in front. Three-point shot is up, but short from Kamali. Korea looking to get out with Cho. Great pass from O to find him, and Cho is foul going to the basket. Free throws coming for him. Tremendous outlet pass from O to uh, reach him. Cho's been very good from the free throw line throughout these Paralympic Games. And he continues that. And Iran are going to make their first substitution of the game. And Bagzad Afad into the game. Abdi just needs to get over the halfway line there. He just stopped right before the halfway line. And of course, you've only got eight seconds to get it into the front court. He did get there and then was fouled by O. Sahari. Nice dump in. Well, that probably should have been points. It's a good pass. Mohammed underneath. He is a one-point player, but he'll expect to convert from there. Cho, nice touch pass on. Had to go up quick there from uh, Lee. Cho almost stole that away. He's trying to convince the referee he didn't touch it last. But our official from Australia, right on the money, on the baseline. Timeout called here in the opening quarter. Korea 10, Iran 6. 3.38 to play in this period.
You see the incredible numbers from Thayari averaging almost a double-double in this competition. Tops the charts in uh, scoring. He's uh, amongst the leading rebounders as well. And still has time to hand out five, four and a half assists. The referee just calling a halt to the play because the shot clock has 24 seconds on it. It shouldn't have done that. They've corrected it quickly. The commissioner getting it set back to nine. So Yari a little bit behind the basket, had to come at an angle. Oh, nice flip from Abdi to Sayari. Again, he's just a little bit behind level, but he's able to knock that one down. Nice catch and a dump off. Lee Jung Jai, there was a hand right in his face as the ball was about to enter his hands, but he was able to haul it in and dump it off to Cho. Korea's lead back to four. That'll be a three second violation. Hassan Abdi never quite got out of the lane. And with a little encouragement from the uh, career defenders who were making sure that referee Wood on the baseline saw he was in the lane. The referee was like, yeah, I can see, I can count to three, don't worry about that. Nice shot from O at the foul line. Nice play defensively from Gim. Tough shot from Abdi there with Big Gim in close uh, proximity. Cho fakes at the three. Great hands to deflect that away. It's fine to go in the backcourt because Mohammed knocked it. Well, Lee tried to flip it over his head to Cho, but off the mark that time. It's Sayari. Looking for options, might decide the best one is him shooting. But it doesn't go, Kim with the rebound. Cho has it now. Cho looking to push. Around the screen from O. Comes back the other way. Oh, nice pass, but the spinning shot from uh, Kim. And he's looking at the referee and just wondering whether he might have been fouled. The referee says no. You can see reinforcements coming for the Iranians as they look to make a few tweaks to their lineup, trailing by six. Cross court, but Gim doing a good job of making life hard for Sayari. He does get into the paint though. Kim trying to reach over for that rebound. It came off an Iranian hand last. Kim along the baseline, flicks it back to Kim. Good ball movement from Korea. Kim Dong Shun with the points. We just got a hand to that as well. It looked like Kamali might have got past the big number 40. 
But his long arms were able to deflect that away. Kamali at the top of the key and the Iranians into double figures with what is probably their last shot of the first quarter time for one more attempt for Korea here's O Cho bench counting it down O shot off the mark Sayari with the rebound he'll just let time expire that'll do it first quarter in the books here at the Ariaki Arena and it is the Koreans who lead by 16 points to 10. Cho Sung Hyun got them going early on, but they've had contributions from all five of their starters. The Iranians, as you can see, not shooting the ball tremendously well. They've had more attempts thanks to their four offensive rebounds but they've not profited from them. And just the two scorers, and it's the two usual suspects for Iran. Sights and sounds here of the opening quarter of the 9-10 playoff in the men's classification. Match 61 of these Tokyo Paralympic Games. Korea in the games for the first time in 21 years, guaranteed their best ever finish. Trying to get up to nine in the rankings. That was a lovely flip back from Abdi. Second quarter getting underway here at the Ariaki Arena. Korea 16, Iran 10. And it is the Iranians who have the opening possession. Kamali, guarded by the veteran Kim, goes cross court to Sayari. Nice little dump down, but once again, the big fella turning the lights off. Another block for Kim. Cho. Cho with the offensive rebound, trying to feed it down to Lee, but it's stolen away by Iran. Oh, Kamali was turning one way, the pass went the other. And a turnover from to Louis Tamardash. Good hand to deflect that. The pass didn't quite have enough on it. Chance out on the break. But Mohammed is slowed in his tracks, but he goes right past Kim, gets all the way to the basket. Great work, foul called. And a three-point play opportunity. Well, he... Lulled them to sleep there. Thought he was going to stop and pass the ball. And then he just gets past Kim. Kept on going. Cho with the foul. <laughs> foul number two on Cho. Mohammed. Mohammed Najad at the line. Sayari trying to chase it down, and Lee was hoping it would go out of bounds before either Sayari or Zakiri got there. And in the end, he was 
fortunate enough to see that it did. You can see number 39, Kim sang Yol, in for Cho, who just picked up that second foul. At the first change of the game by Coach Ko here, all the way into the second quarter. It's good body positioning there by Kim. Got himself in front of the defender and said, well, if you want to get back, you're going to have to foul me. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, has some room, dishes off, offensive rebound, and uh, Kim Sang-yol straight into the game, and he'll get a chance to get some points on the board from the free throw line. Career perfect from the free throw line so far. And there's that first miss as it falls short. Awkward spot here for Iran to get out and cross half court, but they're able to do it. Kamali. Rebound, oh. Ooh. Pass a little bit low. Korea still keep possession of the ball. Kim down on the low block, has the size advantage over Zakiri and takes full advantage of it, stretches the Korean lead to seven. to Sayari and he banks in two much needed points for Iran. Oh, unsportsmanlike foul caught off the ball on Kamali. And uh, it was Oh who ended up on the floor. I must admit it was the corner of my eye I saw it, but it must have been very aggressive to be called for an unsportsmanlike foul. He's pleading his case, but there's no way it's going to be overturned because they're not going to the monitor about it. Knocks down the first foul shot. Can't make the second, but it'll be a sideline ball. Odong so, uh, Sok fires up the three. That's off the mark, and sportsman like only cost them a point there. Tanue. Kamali. Cross court to Sayari. He's got a lot of room, and that's never a good outcome for the defensive team. To give the big number 12 a nice easy shot like that. It's Kim at speed down court. Sayari still going, getting all the way to the basket. Incredible there from Sayari. It didn't look like there should be any room for him. But with uh, some nifty maneuvering of the chair, he was able to get all the way down the line. Look at this. You can see he keeps going, keeps going. Nobody stops the ball. Is there a gap there? Yes, there is. 
And he's able to convert. Timeout called in the ball game. Coach Ko and Korea want to talk things over. Their lead is down to only two with 6.36 to go in the first half. as many as eight. But their advantage is down to just a basket right now. Wang Wu Sung, you can see into the game for his first taste of this 9-10 uh, playoff action. Kim Taok as well and Lee Yongju as Coach Ko rolls the changes and it's turned over to Lee. Kim Taok, no way through, Sayari. Grabs the loose ball and there's a foul there as the pass was being made. Lee Yongju. thinking about the shot, dumps it inside instead. Batted away by Lee Yunju, but thrown too far out in front. And Zahiri is the first back. Zahiri is fouled in the act of shooting. So he'll go to the line. He's only been on the court a minute. And he's been right in the thick of it. He's got two steals, one turnover, and two fouls. gave a warning and said remember to wait until the shot and they all nodded and said yes <laughs> and then three Koreans went in too soon for a lane violation so he'll get it again and he makes them pay Lee, oh, defense nowhere to be seen there. But Lee's unable to take advantage of what was a very good opportunity. Great work from Kamali to get away there, but he's blocked and fouled. So it'll be two free throws. Well, Kim Dong Hyung thought he got a clean block there. He's having a discussion with the referee on the baseline but uh, it was the Spanish official who called the foul
Tied at 20 here midway through the second quarter. Korea led by as many as eight, but trying to regain that advantage. Oh, shot off the mark. Kamali with the rebound. Throws it long down court. Pulled in by Sayari. He gets into the paint. Forced back out again. Oh, forcing him even further out. Still he has it. Time running out on the offense. Dumps it inside. Shot needs to go up. It does go up and it goes in. First points of the game to Louis. Kim. Nothing doing on that shot from the edge of the key for Lee. Kamali with great position and the size advantage over O. Nothing that O Dong Suk could do to put him off there. We need some help here to get this in. Finds it from uh, Kim Taeok. Oh. Well, I think the block was clean. I think it's the chair he's caught him with there. If you look here, he gets the ball there, but there's a big collision down the bottom, which is why the foul was called. Wholesale changes for Korea as they go back to their starting unit. Led by as many as eight, trailed by as many as four just now. It's three. And a chance for Odong oh, Sok to make it one two-point shot between the sides, and he does exactly that. And a timeout is going to be called by Iran here with 3.40 to go in the first half. It is the Republic of Korea, 22, the Islamic Republic of Iran, 24, here at the Ariaki Arena in this uh, final game for these two teams of the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. Well, they were going along really well, the Koreans, but the uh, shots that were dropping early on are not falling anymore, which is why they're down to 37% from the floor. Iran have been going in the other direction, and they're up to close to 50% now. Teams back out on court, a round ball from the end. Their lead is two points. Battle for positioning down the offensive end of the floor. They're trying to prevent Kim from getting inside and getting a good defensive spot. If you're uh, new to wheelchair basketball, so much happens when the ball even, isn't even in play. Coming out of... Uh, timeouts or sideline possessions. And spacing is key. Positioning to get yourself a good spot on the floor for shots like that. And uh, him ties things up at 24. Oh, 
Kamali along the baseline, trying to put the brakes on to get his shot away. Cho. Cho over to Rim. No, that one is a little bit off the mark, but uh, he's not had a ton of looks in this first half. It's just his fourth shot of the game. They've done a decent job of keeping the ball out of his hands, the Iranians. Kim back to Kim. Trying to give it back to the number 40, but the ball deflected away. Sayari with the veteran, Kim having a hand in his face, but Sayari, he have to do more than that to put the big fella off. Here's Cho. Good drawing of the defense to drop the pass down to Lee Byung Jai for an easy score. Last 90 seconds here of the first half. Very tight it is. Korea did sneak out to eight very briefly. But both teams have had a lead. It's changed a few times and an offensive foul called. We might get another lead change here if Korea can score. Dumps it inside, but well, a late whistle, foul scored, caught him on the head from behind. Let's have another look. He's got great position in the first place, and Kamali gets him. His third personal foul here in the first half. Korea 9 of 11 from the free throw line in the first half. Done a great job of getting to the stripe. And when they've got that, they've been knocking them down as well. Well, they don't want Kamali to pick up a fourth foul before half time. And he looks a little frustrated as he goes to the sidelines. Sayari. Lines it up, all in and out for him. Give him with the rebound. Here come Korea, looking to double their lead. Oh, trying to go at speed. Oh, a little change of pace gets him along the baseline. Dumps it off to Cho. Great work from Oh Dung Sok to give Cho a couple of points there. Zahiri going down, but getting the pass away. They're going to have to play with four here. Can they get an open shot? Well, they can, but it's a bit of a heave on the uh, end of the shot clock, and that'll do it for the first half here. Korea led by as many as eight. Iran came back to go in front. But at the break, it is the Republic of Korea who have the advantage. It's 30 points to 26 here at the Ariake Arena. Oh, 
Well, Korea spent most of that first half with the lead, almost 12 minutes of playing time in front, less than three minutes behind. But Iran very much in this contest. Just a couple of baskets between them. Let's take a look back at the action in this first half at the Ariaki Arena here in Tokyo. We're approaching the end of the games. This is the final contest for these two teams as they sort out the classification of 9-10 in the men's side of the draw. And we're uh, nowhere nearer to knowing which one of them will be in which spot here at the interval. Not the highest scoring game you've ever seen, but when they've had their opportunities, the big players have scored. And the question is which one of them can put together a concerted run in the second half to try and get a little bit of space between them and their opponent. See, shooting percentages pretty even, but Korea getting to the foul line a lot more. 10 of their 30 points coming from that distance. And uh, that's why they've just shaded this first half. 30 points to 26, the Republic of Korea lead the Islamic Republic of Iran.
20 minutes to go here at the Ariaki Arena for Korea and Iran in the uh, Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. They will finish ninth and 10th in the classifications. And we will find out in which order over these next 20 minutes. Seems ready and raring to go. We've still got 15 seconds of halftime left. Guys want to get out there and get started, but of course we must observe the timings. So here we go. Third quarter getting underway. Korea 30 to Iran 26. And it is the Koreans in the white who will have the first possession of the second half. Sayari, the Iranians' leading scorer as ever with the rebound. Kamali's shot is off the mark. Oh, is gone if they can find him. Cho has it. They've got numbers here. Kim to O. Oh. Across to Kim. They've recovered well, Iran. And they managed to get a stop out of what looked like an unlikely scenario and turned it into transition in the first two points of the second half. Kim Ochogim and Lee, the starting five for Korea here. And there's a, a player down. In the paints, the referee will stop the game on safety reasons. Cho it was. Oh, oh, get that out of here. Sayari with the big block. Just couldn't keep it in play. He came from the middle quickly. And suddenly what looked like a decent shot was coming right back in him there with the big hand of Sayari. Cho down to Kim. Kim underneath for two. He's been doing that for decades. Sayari, did he go over the line? He did. And I think Kim gave him a little help, but as he spun round, he just got that uh, left wheel onto the halfway line. Once you cross the halfway line, you're not allowed to go back. Or once the ball crosses the halfway line, the ball is not allowed to be taken back, to be slightly clearer. And obviously, he had hold of the ball at the point at which he uh, touched the line. Great outlet. Mohammed is chased down by uh, O, who certainly made it hard work for him, but Iran get another two on the board. Cross court. Oh, Dong Sok. Cho gets the shot off. Front iron. Sari gets a hand in it. Zakiri pulls it in. Kamali into the lane. Got fouled late there. I think it was uh, from the side rather than the front. Number two on Oh Dong Sok.
they're all in way too early. But uh, it's not a violation if the ball goes in. You're not allowed to come across the line of the key until after the ball is released. Shows three off the back iron. Comes back to him. Gets a little closer this time. Kisses it in off the window. Need to get this over here. Just with a second to spare. Kamali Costa Sayari. And, uh, well, if you're going to give him that much time and space, you might as well go over to the uh, scoreboard operator and put two points on yourself because that's a guaranteed basket. Well, he's just got a little issue with his chair here. One of the front wheels has uh, come loose. Well, he's still on the edge of the court, and he's like, I'm coming back in. The referee says, your coach has already made a sub. Go sort it out on the side. Kim. Bank shot is good to put Korea back ahead. Just had a little sight of the ball there, but it was a bit further away than he'd hoped. And he ended up going across the arms and committing a foul. Well, again, that's too easy. I don't know what they're thinking, the Koreans. But that is the... Paralympics top scorer right there and you're giving him open bank shots from 12 feet it's not a great tactic that <laughs> he's got 18 Here's Joe. Around the screen, zips it underneath to Kim, who is right underneath. So he dishes off to Kim, who can't convert. Back to Sahari. That's a bit better, closing him out, not letting him have an easy lane to a spot he wants three second violation called on Mohammed. I think he thought Sayari was going to shoot so he was trying to get in for the rebound Cho thinks about the three, decides against cross court to Kim. Kim on the baseline, strings another shot. He's into double figures now. Kim Ho Yong with 10. Joint top scorer on his team with Cho. The veteran of his second Paralympics, bearing in mind the first one was in Sydney in 2000. The 49-year-old still getting it done here. Hey man, Bagshad The Iranian captain ties it up at 38. Just past the midpoint of this third quarter. They've been trading baskets pretty much through this period. 
Cho misses everything. Good turn of pace and all the way to the basket. Mohsen Tolloway all the way to the hole. Oh, with a big pass. Him going backwards, trying to keep it in play, but can't. Well, he's trapped, but he's trapped off the court. So the referee's like, well, you can get back on the court. You're still going to be trapped. They're going to try and not let him out. Koreans are coming to set some screens to help him out. Shot clock need to get it across. Oof, there wasn't much in that. They beat the eight seconds just. Lee with the foul. challenge thrown out can Kim get there he's got to be quick yes he is takes the foul no it's an offensive foul and he just veered into Tahiri you see they were racing for the ball and then he just steers in to bump him out of the way initiating the contact Zakiri. Well, he certainly felt that one, but he's back up and pleased to see the foul goes the other way. Mm, I'm not sure. He's given a thumbs up to two officials, but he's grimacing slightly as he holds on to that elbow. Well, that's not a good pass, and it's always dangerous to throw a slightly wayward one with Cho about. Cho drives in, gets all the way to the hole, defense to offense for Cho Sung Young. Forty points apiece. Still, they go basket for basket here in the third. Oh, so we threw the pass and it wasn't seen by uh, Tolloway. Well, at least not till it hit him in the nose. Cho, great job diving out there to steal that away. And he's quick down court to put points on the board. Less than three to play here at the Ariaki Arena. We're level at 40. Timeout called here in the third quarter. Coach uh, Abbas, not the most demonstrative, but gets his message across in a very calm and uh, measured way. Korea with the possession. Just under three to play here in the third. Cho. 
Over to Kim. Kim back up top and from O to Cho. Kim. It's a good ball movement. Shot's a bit flat. Kim's a bit deep underneath, but he gets the foul. First one good. Makes them both. They've been really good from the free throw line, the Koreans. And they came in here just shooting 50 57% from the foul line, but they're 12 of 14 today. Well, they are here, want that back. Those are normally bread and butter to him. Cho. Cho zip pass, just a little out of the reach of Kim and then he wasn't quite in the position he wanted. Probably still should have scored anyway, but the pass made it a little more difficult. Ziari getting inside. Foul on the floor. You can see he just had to reach for it. And then not quite in the optimum spot. They're in the penalty, so it's uh, two free throws. Lane violation. Take that again. Seen a lot of these through these Paralympic Games. Teams just a touch keen to get in and get that rebound. Jim back to O, oh, thinks about the three, sets himself. Well, I think he thought that was in. He started to go defensive. But him with the offensive rebound. Oh, a little closer this time off the glass. And Mohammed out in front. Can Cho catch him? He is quick enough. And he does enough. Well, Cho was going the opposite way, expecting a pass, and he didn't see the cutter. Iran in front, leading by a point with a minute and some change to go here in the third quarter. Cho has it, up off the glass, bobbles away. Sayari with the rebound. Kamali looking to push. Force back out. Nice cut. Toloi all the way to the basket. Cho getting a hand in there, but illegally so. And he'll go to the line for two. First one was all right. There's a little bit there on the, well, some hand in there. A 
Chevron winning this quarter by six, winning the game by two, make that three. Here comes Gim for Korea, trying to get back onto level terms as Cho is fouled. It's only the third foul of the uh, quarter for uh, Iran. Daniel Zahiri with his first foul. Ziari getting a big hand on that again. Lobbed cross court to Gim. Gim under pressure gets it away. Chance maybe for one last shot, or are they going to go quick here? Iran. Yeah, they are. Well, that might give Korea a chance the other way, but Zakiri with the offensive rebound. They get two points out of it. And the uh, clock is stopped by the officials, so that helps Korea a little bit. Here comes Cho. Last couple of seconds of the third. Gets himself. Oh, Kamali throws that one out from behind. Tremendous block. Chasing it down. Had his eyes completely on the ball to deny an opportunity for Korea. 0.7 on the clock. Gim Kat shoots. And a great finish to the third quarter by Iran. They really powered away in those last few minutes. And it, you could see the momentum played out in that defensive stop. They've won that quarter 21-12. And they lead 47-42. Well, Korea shooting, going down, and uh, not helped by Iran, scoring the last seven points of that third quarter to go from two points down to five points up. As we look back over the action in this third quarter, this is Iran's biggest lead of the game. And what a great time to uh, get themselves in front. And with only 10 minutes to play, for much of that third quarter, they were just going blow for blow. You score, we score. But the last three minutes were definitely Iran's, and that is why they are ahead. A little bit in transition, a little bit getting to the foul line. They made a few free throws. They struggled early on from the foul line, but... They find themselves in front here. 21 points, the highest scoring quarter by either team in the game so far. Ten minutes left here at the Ariaki Arena to decide who will finish ninth and tenth in the men's wheelchair basketball at Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. It's Iran with the upper hand and possession of the ball, leading 47 to 42. Sayari trying to stretch that. Gets it again. Two defenders come out to him, so he feeds it off to Sakiri. Sakiri setting the screen. Both the Koreans were worried about the top scorer, but they lost Sakiri, who had an easy lane to the basket to stretch it to seven. Foul called. Kamali, the offender. His fourth personal foul. Well, they lead by seven. He's a key player. There's 9.20 to go. There is a substitution in the game, but it is not 
for Iran. It is for Korea. With the Yang Dong Gil coming into the game for the first time. Here's Cho. Give him at the foul line. Off the mark. Zakiri got a hand on it. Was it the last touch? Yes, it was. White ball, says the official from Australia. Well, first real touch of the ball for Yang. It's not easy to come into a game in the fourth quarter. The team needs some offensive input, but he provides it straight away. So Yari again working with Sakiri, who gets to the basket. The pass from the top of the key finds him, but... He gets the rebound. Cho pulls it away from him, but not before a jump ball is called. Of course, it's been a long time since we uh, have had jump balls for wrap-ups. Possession arrow decides the way, and the possession arrow favors Korea. That's a good roll to the basket. Kwak, Junsung lays in his first basket of the game. Korea have got it back down to three, eight to play here. Tiari. Kamali, he shot off the mark. Korea potentially could tie the game on this play. Zakiri pleading with the referee for an offensive foul, but it's a block. Zakiri not in a uh, legal defensive position, just sort of turning into it. If he'd just been a split second quicker, he might have been stationary and level and been able to take that charge that he was after. Here's Cho. Kim now. Yang spinning through the lane, gets the shot away. Well, it wasn't a shot. The referee says, no, you passed the ball. I think he was trying to convince the referee that he was in the shooting motion. It didn't go very near the basket, to be fair. <laughs> Yang to Cho. Cho with the mid-range, off the mark. That's a... Great work on the glass from Tolloway. Korea pressing. Ooh. They were under pressure from the shot clock there. In with the foul. They may not have got that across in time, but the foul was called to save them. So still just one possession between the two teams. Iran with the advantage. 7.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. To Sayari. Sayari off the glass a bit short. Yang with the rebound. Late trail by Yang. Dipped it into Cho, off the glass with the finish. Brilliant score from Cho Sung Hyun. And he will go to the line with the chance to
to tie the game. Forty-nine points apiece, less than seven to play in this classification game. Joe harassing on the defensive end. Ciari off the glass, suddenly his radar is a little off the mark. Cho fakes at the three, drives into the lane, gets to the foul line. Lee is blocked. And Iran looking to get away. Kamali has it. White shirts flooding back, though. Kamali all the way round, off the glass. Iran in front now. Well, this game could come down to who scores last. Cho, mid-range, levels it back up. Kamali across to Sayari. Back it comes to the number 14. And again, he thinks about the shot but goes for Ciari instead, who knocks it in at the end of the shot clock. Kim over to Cho. Defenders collapsing on him, three round him in the end. Kamali with the rebound. Past the midway point of this final quarter. Kamali over to Sayari. Turn away. It's a foul in the basket, Will Cow. Kamali punches the air. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Fourth personal foul. On uh, Kim Dong-hyun. So that's both him at one end uh, and Kamali at the other. Two key players for their teams on four fouls. Zakiri first to the loose ball, Iran get it back. Mohammed moves it on, Kamali trying to drive baseline. Gets it back to Mohammed at the top of the key, he can't convert. Lee is out in front. Stops well but can't convert, Cho with the rebound. And the foul called on uh, Kamali. I was about to say they might have preferred to play on there because they probably would have scored, but as it's a team foul and the fifth personal foul on Kamali, they'll be more than happy to see the back of him. He fouls out of the game, 14 points to his name. Eight assists, seven rebounds as well. That is a big part of the Iranian firepower going off to the bench for the remainder of the game. Again, violation call, but ball goes in. So that's fine. Korea 
Trail by three, four minutes to play. Four minutes without Kamali on the court. So Sayari suddenly gets a lot more heat coming his way. Today he can't convert. Yang with the rebound. Gim looking for something in transition. They've trapped Sayari down the other end of the court. So it's four on four with no big man inside. And Lee takes full advantage of that. It's a one point game. Zeta, a lot resting on him to get some points for them. Fowler is going to be on Cho trying to get that rebound, not getting there first. And that is going to be his fourth personal foul. Tolue across court to Sayari. Shot clock. Getting very low, Sayari off the glass. Stretches the lead to three. <laughs> Offensive foul, illegal screen there. Lee not in the right position to set that and he's gonna get called for it. Big stop for Iran with 2.43 to go. A chance to make it a two-possession game. Nice pass and a great cut to the basket. Super finish by Mohamed. He's really found some gaps in the defense through this game. He's not always taken full advantage of him, but that is a key one to make it a five-point lead with two and a half to go. Coach Ko having to call a timeout. This is their best ever Paralympic Games. But boy, they'd love to get another win on the board and finish ninth at the minute. It is Iran who are edging towards that outcome, leading as they do by five. But there's still a long, long way to go in this ball game. 231. There's only two shots between them. Korea have the ball, looking to make it one. Cho fakes it the three. Cross court to Kim, the veteran. To Cho with some room. Cho shot off the iron. Aram will look to try and take some clock. Get a late shot clock score here. It's Oluwai cutting to the basket, and he's had a great game. 16 points for him now, seven of nine shooting. And suddenly, Iran lead by seven and there's less than two minutes to go. This is their biggest lead of the game. What a time to pull it out. And with one of their top scorers having fouled out, but Cho with the offensive rebound. Korea needs scores, they need them quickly. 
Cho spinning. Back to Kim, but it's deflected away. Zakari got in the way. But every tick of the clock is a dagger in Korea's chances. It's into Cho. He's got to try and find some room. He somehow gets the shot away, but it doesn't drop. And Cho seems to have hurt himself, but Iran are off down the other court, and they're going to try and milk the clock. Cho is back up, but he seems to have banged his elbow. He is back at the defensive end. Sayari, offensive foul. Well... There was only 1.9 left in the shot clock. So if they were going to turn it over, that's not the end of the world because they took 22 seconds off the clock and they have a seven-point lead. Here's O. Korea must score on this possession. Time... Draining away. Oh, hits the deck, looks hopefully at the official, but it all he'll see is him pointing the opposite way for a turnover. Well, Iran are going to call a timeout. I'm wondering if he might want it advance the ball it's one of those interesting things at this stage of the game if you advance the ball you obviously lose 10 seconds and you want to try and take as much time off the clock as you can Well, Korea looking uh, to set up. I assume it'll be a full court press. I assume he will take it in the back court. No, it is going to the front court. He is going to move it. To, so loses 10 seconds, but obviously you then don't have the chance of coughing it up in the back court and giving them an easy score. And it also then makes Korea think, well, do we play defense here or do we go into foul mode? Down seven. 31 seconds is when they would get the ball back, assuming that Iran take all the clock, which they're trying to do. So they are going to play defense. They are at the end of the clock. Oh, that basically wins the game for Iran. Mohammed Hassan Sayari with the triple. He's the tournament's leading scorer. He's got another 26 points. And he ran that one right to the buzzer and hit a three that has essentially confirmed his team in ninth place here at Tokyo 2020. Zakiri will run it out. Iran uh, have come from behind here to win this ball game. Tremendous performance from them particularly in that third quarter where they finished so well, scored the last seven points of that third quarter, and they kept that momentum going into the fourth, and they have won by 10. Great victory, that, for Iran. They were made to work hard by a very spirited Korean team, a Korean team who've got their best ever placing at the Paralympics here in Tokyo, finishing 10th, but it is Iran who will secure 9th, 26 points from Mohammed Hassan Sayari. He will almost certainly finish as the top scorer here at Tokyo 2020, but good contributions as well from Moshin Toluai Tamardash, who had 16 points, eight assists, and five rebounds as well. 
And also Kamali before he fouled out. Well, tough to win a game when you shoot 35% from the floor. But the free throws kept them in it and, uh, well, kept them in front for much of the first half. But that spell late in the third, decisive for the Iranians. And they will go home on a high, having won their final game of the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. Mohammed Hassan Sayari has uh, certainly done his reputation on the global stage. No harm at all with a tremendous tournament as he has led his team to ninth place. Well, sometimes you can dominate a game and sometimes it's just about making sure you hit your bit of momentum at the right time. And they did exactly that by uh, timing their finish from late in the third all the way to the buzzer to seal themselves a victory. Well, two teams who have acquitted themselves very well over the last uh, week or so here in uh, Tokyo. Their Paralympic Games over for now, but they've both shown what they can do on the big stage. And you can see the Iranians getting a few little memories to take back home with them. A few photos at half court in the middle of the logo. Little mementos to show their family, both now and in the future, and probably on social media coming soon as well. And they have finished ninth here in these Paralympic Games. And a good tournament ending for them. Always nice to go home on a high with a victory. And they've uh, certainly done that here today. They've beaten... Uh, the Republic of Korea by 64 points to 54 in this men's wheelchair basketball classification playoff. And they will finish ninth.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The International Paralympic Committee in Tokyo 2020 welcome you to Japan and Area Carina City Women's Paralympic Wheelchair Basketball Competition. This is day nine of competition. Our next game is a women's classification playoff 7 8 game. Features Great Britain and Spain, scheduled to start at 3 p.m. But first, first we got a special pre game treat for you. Check out the big screen to find out more.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome straight to the court for the warm-up. This one, your team who got a warm-up of the Puerto Rico Congress, Mazwa, Spain, that goal. Come on, talk to me,
Before we begin, we're going to take a look at the competing teams, starting with Great Britain. They had a one in three record in the preliminary round with a win to Australia, but they lost the quarterfinal game to China. They scored 245 points in the tournament with a 36.4% field goal average and 35.6% rebound average. This is their seventh appearance in a row in the Paralympic Games, and the best result was sports in Rio. え、今回の、あの、ですけれども、必勝を大阪大会に挙げ、3大会、そして準々決勝では中国中学人プロ代表に敗れ、決勝に進出しています。これまでの合計得点は246.4%です。1994年アトランタ大会以来、それで7大会
We're at the uh, classification stage of the women's wheelchair basketball here at the Ariaki Arena as Spain and Great Britain will fight it out for the eighth spot. This is uh, how the quarterfinals went. Spain beaten by Germany, China seeing off Great Britain. And they then drop into this 7-8 matchup. You can see GB qualified for the quarterfinals by beating Australia before getting defeated 47-33 uh, in the quarterfinal against China. Whereas the Spanish saw off Algeria in a very lopsided game as their only win and were beaten 33-57 by Germany in the quarterfinals. And, uh, well, Great Britain, probably the story of their tournament is uh, just the lack of consistent scoring. They've uh, not got anybody in the lineup who's averaged double figures here in Tokyo. They've scored just 49 points per game. And those are the fine margins by which you lose the low-scoring game as they did against China in the quarterfinals to find themselves here. Similar story, really, for the Spanish. Their best scorer, Virginia Perez. She only averages eight points per game. And as a team, they average 40 points per game which, bearing in mind, they scored 80 against Algeria. Shows you that points have been a challenge for them in this tournament. And that will be the question, I suppose, in deciding which of these teams finish seventh and eighth is which one of them can get the scoreboard ticking and get themselves on top. This is only the second Paralympic experience for Spain. They will, at the very least, match what they did in Barcelona in 1992 here. They were eighth then. They will be at worst eighth here. They'll be hoping for seventh. GB seventh in London when they hosted it. Improved to fourth last time out. But uh, as we saw, the emotion of the quarterfinal, can they channel that in to make sure that disappointment turns into a successful finish? Well, the two teams are out onto court after the introductions, and we will pause now for the national anthems of the two sides, starting with the national anthem of Great Britain. And now for the National Anthem of Spain. Two teams acknowledge each other before heading back for their warm-ups as they get set for their final game here in Tokyo. 
in the 2020 Paralympics. Two great European nations in wheelchair basketball going head to head as they look to uh, improve their rankings in this competition here in Tokyo. And our three officials for today's game are also ready to go from Malaysia. Our referee, Yap Po Boon, and supported by the two officials, uh, two refer uh, umpires even, uh, Ikerta Hock of um, Turkey and uh, from Costa Rica, Maurizio Gomez, our commissioner on the table is Andrew Sherman of South Africa. Well, Great Britain, after their silver medal in the Europeans, would have had high hopes coming into this uh, Paralympic Games, like everybody else, the uh, disruption of the training program through the pandemic. Probably caught them at a bad time because they were in good form in 2019. This is starting five for Great Britain. Charlie Moore, Helen Freeman, Laurie Williams, Amy Conroy, and Joy Hazelden will be the five that uh, Coach Fisher sends out on the court. Hoping they can get some scoring going through Freeman and Conroy in particular. There is Coach Simon Fisher encouraging his team through the warm-ups and he will want them to finish their time here in Tokyo strongly. Obviously, if you go home, it's better to go home having won your last game than have lost it, and that will be the attitude of both these two sides. Patrice Zuder will start at number eight, and uh, Sara Garcia, Virginia Perez, Maria Alonso, and uh, Amodina Montiel, who's uh, been pretty good in the games uh, that I've covered for Spain through this tournament. Very impressive uh, performance. And uh, they go back into their huddle and get ready for the ball game to get underway. Oh, interesting, the assistant coach, uh, David Benitez Sanchez, giving the main pre-game team talk. Which uh, Karyon Ruiz doesn't appear to be on the sidelines. Here we go then, Great Britain against Spain for seventh place at Tokyo 2020. And it is the Brits in white who will start us off and Conroy with her first shot attempt of the game and that deflected out of bounds off uh, Alonso Villarino for a Great Britain ball. Hazelden at the free throw line. Back to Williams. And that's the first points on the board. GB with some pressure down court, forcing the turnover. 
And a good start from the British side. Hazelden back out to Freeman. In now to Conroy in the paint. Back iron on the shot. Foul called. First foul of the game is on Joy Hazelden, and Spain now with a chance to get into the half court. Zudair going around the screen, getting all the way to the basket. Nice dish off, and Spain are on the board. We've to Garcia with the first points. Here's Williams, charging foul called Perez getting into good position and Williams hitting into up had to reach down low to get that Perez She's going to fire up the... Oh, no, she passed it inside. I thought for a second she was going to shoot it, but it was a pass. And Perez chasing down the rebound. Fouls, fouls Williams after Villarino's missed shot. Freeman. Hazelden with the screen, drawing both defenders. So Freeman takes the shot. Zudair. Going all the way, using her strength well to fend off the defender. Look at this, it's good chair movement, just easing, and then the reach across from... Laurie Williams, that's her second foul here in the first two minutes. That gives Coach Fisher something to think about. Perez has the easy shot because uh, Montiel had kept the defenders at bay. Freeman over to Hazelden. Ducks underneath, great play from Joy Hazelden. Can't get the rebound, more fighting for it though. Conroy has it, good work from Charlie Moore and Amy Conroy turns it into points for Great Britain. Volta freeing up her teammate with a good screen. Perez. Spins, throws it away, Moore with the steal. Here's Williams out in front, Conroy with her. Great work from Conroy and Williams, and Great Britain in transition take the lead. Monty Hell. Nice bounce pass. Oh, that was unlucky. Just uh, bobbled out for uh, Sara Revelta. Hazelden. Moore round to Freeman. Freeman going cross court. Push back at the foul line. Good cut to the basket from Moore. Offensive rebound but not the putback for Conroy. Revelta with the rebound. Thrown out in front, gonna have to work hard to catch that one up. 
And uh, Montiel was going as fast as she could, but couldn't beat the ball to the line. Hazelden into Conroy. Conroy is fouled, basket is good. And Amy Conroy with a chance for a three-point play. Six early points for GB's number 12. Number 10 even, sorry. Off the mark. Just crossed the line in time there. Perez with the shot, misses everything. Freeman with the rebound, looking to get out. Hazelden in front, so too Williams. Moore and Conroy, as Great Britain have numbers. Williams goes it alone and Williams scores off the glass. Laurie Williams all the way to the basket. Tremendous break from GB. They had so many options. They've started well here. First five minutes, they're up by six. And Spain tossing the ball away again. Williams with the shot, back iron. Perez still going all the way on her own. Eventually stopped by Conroy, dishes it off. But Zudair cannot finish. Freeman to Conroy, to Hazelden. Good ball movement again from the Brits. And I did look straight to the coach to see if a timeout was coming, and it is indeed. Great Britain looking very fluent offensively. Look at this ball movement. Hazelden at the end of it. Spanish defense can't react quick enough. And Great Britain have opened an eight point lead here inside six minutes. Well, they've got issues at both ends of the floor at the minute, Spain. The, uh, the biggest thing on that stat there is the shot differential. Six shots to 13. And the reason Great Britain have had 13 shots is because they've got three offensive rebounds and Spain have got four turnovers. Not a great combination for the team in red. Great Britain's press has caused them some issues. Ooh, that's a backcourt, is it? Yes, it is. Great play from Moore to stop her right at the line. And then... Perez tried to head back towards the sidelines and just caught the wheel on the halfway line. Once the ball's established in the front court, you can't go back. Traveling violation on Freeman. You're only allowed two pushes before you have to dribble the ball or throw it out in front if you want. And she must have took a sneaky third there, but not sneaky enough because the referee was able to spot it. Sonia Ruiz, the captain, throws it away. And Freeman with the steal draws the foul. Another turnover. <laughs> 
Freeman back to Hazelden. On to Williams. Williams along the base line to Conroy. Conroy, three red shirts around her. One of them caught her. The hand up in the air is from uh, Ruiz. So the foul coming here from behind. There on the head. So Amy Conroy has made a fast start in this game with six points. Adding to her tally. It's going to be a lane violation if this doesn't go in. It does go in. Eight points for Conroy. Ten points the British lead. But Sonia Ruiz getting all the way to the basket and laying it in. Williams to Moore. Hazelden on the trail. Brilliant. Right down the lane. Joy Hazelden up off the glass. Great cut. Perfect pass from Moore to find her. Great Britain really flowing here. Alonso Villarino back to Ruiz. Oh, just a little bit behind. It was the right idea, but it wasn't quite the execution that Spain would have wanted. Revelta going to the basket, but needed that in front of her as Robin Love checks in. Great first quarter for Amy Conroy. Freeman back to Williams. Once again, the three-time Paralympian has the ball, and Williams going to the basket. A little nod from uh, Amodina Montiel to... Uh, Acknowledge the referee's call of a foul on her. <laughs> Perez returns. Spain over the limit in this quarter, so free throws for Williams. and Freeman comes away with it. So Great Britain get a new 14 seconds. Freeman. And I think that came off Williams' chair last, so it's a Spain ball. thrown straight to uh, Freeman by Ruiz. Williams. Love has a good position. And Love gets her first points on the board. Ooh, that pass only just made it as well. They've had some difficulty getting it cross midcourt, the Spanish. They're halfway through this offense and they haven't really moved the ball at all. Paris is looking for options, but great defense from Williams. And suddenly they're at the back end of the shot clock needing to heave one up, but it goes in. Well, it was hard work, but they got the points they need. Hazelden, Freeman gets in the lane. Well, uncharacteristically off the mark for her from that sort of range. Oh, Perez is stopped on the halfway line again. 
And it's a backcourt violation once again. GB are doing a really good job of stopping the ball immediately as they get over the halfway line. There's been uh, two or three where Spain have got away with it. And there's been a couple of backcourt violations as well. The pass has to go into the front court on the backcourt violation, which it does. Freeman has it. Cross to Love. Freeman hits the shot. Helen Freeman, her first points of the game, 12-point GB lead. Oh, here we go again. They're in an awkward spot. It's got to be quick. Again, it's over, but it's right on the line. That was close to a backcourt again for Spain, but they get away with it this time. Great Britain with a chance to break three on three. Another foul. It's on the floor, but it's going to be free throws. And Spain struggling here in the first quarter. A, to get the ball over half court, and then when they do, to get some sort of shot. There's just a little chair issue at the other end of the floor. Montiel had a bit of a... I think a wheel might have come slightly loose because it was just pushed back into place by the coach for the day. First one is good. Williams takes her tally to six, takes her team's lead to 14. There's an offense left in this opening quarter. Ooh, that pass a little front, far out in front of Lopez, had to reach to get it. Ruiz over the half court, but again, look where they get stopped, right near the halfway line. Time ticking down on this first quarter. Revolta rolling to the basket. Can't get the shot to go and that will do it for the first quarter an excellent first quarter for Great Britain they've uh, dominated at both ends of the floor and that is why they lead Spain 8 Great Britain 22 Biggest stat there is 18 shots to 10. They've had eight more shots, Great Britain, because they've got four offensive rebounds and because Spain have turned the ball over nine times in that first quarter. That's way too many. If they're going to get back in this game, they've got to look after the ball, the Spanish. As we look back at the action from this opening quarter, they started pretty well, Spain. There's some good ball movement, had their offense going a little bit. But as GB cranked up some defensive pressure, they've struggled to deal with the full court. And the turnovers and Great Britain's speed has led to some transition points. Conroy started really well. Emotion from Britain after the defeat in their quarterfinals was clear for everybody to see, but they've come back here today on a mission. It's easy when you get heartbreak like that to sort of let it affect the next game, but they haven't done that. They've been really good through 10 minutes. Second quarter getting underway here at the Ariaki Arena. Spain with the ball, but trailing by 14. There is a three off the mark. The long rebound comes all the way out, but bounces kindly for Robin Love. Here's Hamer, her first touch of the ball. Ooh, might go out of court there and does.
Lopez. Oh, well, I'm not sure she was quite looking at that. Thought it was a good touch pass there, Perez, but Vuelta was nowhere near where she touched it to. Thompson. Off the glass and in. Well, their starting five were scoring well enough and the subs have come in and they're putting points on the board and keeping the scoreboard ticking as well. Just a stoppage in the game. The Brels are down in the key initially. So a dangerous spot. And uh, we can get back underway. There is foul called. And you can see the frustration there from uh, Isabel Lopez. She thinks she should be going to the line for one shot, not two. She feels like it's a foul down on the chair. It doesn't affect her. In terms of her shooting motion, she should probably score that. There's just an issue, uh, it's slightly out of shot, but uh, oh, I can't see for the referee which player it was. It was Montiel, was uh, just adjusting her strapping. Forward to Thompson, Hamer in front of her, Hamer one-on-one -on -one with Perez. Looking to see what options present themselves. Now she goes into the lane. Three players around her. Here's Love. Love dumps it down to Carragill, who gets her own rebound. And that's going to be a hell ball possession hour for Great Britain, so they will keep it. Nice work along the baseline for Carrigill, but just couldn't spin that chair quick enough. It was a good cut found by Maddie Thompson on the inbound, but not able to take advantage of the position. And Spain come the other way with Lopez scoring. Now Spain looking to put some pressure on down court. Carrigill trying to help Love out to get a over the halfway line. Hamer does well to catch it, but Ruiz steals it off her. Montiel. Oh, wow. Tremendous from uh, Thompson to steal that. She looked third best, never mind second best to get that. But she wanted that ball. And Spain commit a foul in transition. Timeout called by Great Britain. They lead by 13 here in the second quarter of this women's classification playoff seventh, eighth game.
teams coming back onto the floor. Last action was the foul, so it's a Great Britain ball from, oh, that's a little high for Love, sloppy one there, under no pressure. Thompson just put too much zip on it. Don't think that will count, no. Ambitious ask of the question there from uh, Isabel Lopez for two points, but there was a big gap between whistle and shot. Lopez. Cross court offensive foul, illegal screen. Montiel. I think it was Carrigill trying to fight around the outside and she didn't want it to get there. Just kind of chased it. And that is going to be the third personal foul on her. Maria Alonso back into the game. Carragher forward to Love. Love over to Hamer. Hamer on the move, tough shot, nearly. <laughs> Ortega pulled in that rebound and uh, her teammate Lopez just grabbed it off her. I think Ortega thought at first it was somebody trying to steal it. That pass had a lot of uh, pace on it. Lopez can't convert, but the Spanish get the ball back on the offensive glass. And a third chance opportunity blocked by Love. Still they have it. Ruiz. Well, four goes at it, Spain, but they couldn't convert any of them. When you're down 13, you need to take those chances. on three fouls, so she has to come out of the game. In, Zude out there as well. More forward to Hamer. Hamer hooks it towards Thompson and just out of her grasp. Wholesale substitutions for Great Britain. Three on, three off. Williams, Freeman, and Hazelden. Sudan. Trying to squeeze through the lane. Door is shut. Nice pass and a good finish. Great positioning as well for Lopez. Hazelden has Thompson way ahead all on her own. And oh, Thompson needs to score that. Spain's transition defense all over the place there. And a good finish at pace for the captain. Sonia Ruiz just chipping away at this Spain. Got it down to nine. Freeman to Thompson. Makes no mistake this time. And that's better by the Spanish. Freeman just reaching in, call for the foul. Conroy 
back into the game. Made a great start. Can she pick up where she left off? It's a good out of bounds play. Oh, had everything but the finish as Zude shot rimmed out. Gotta be careful on that one from behind. Sharp cry of defense from the uh, Spanish substitutes, and they get the stop they were after. Lopez. Zuder. Banks one in. And they've cut it yet again, Spain. Not going away here, winning this quarter. Nine points to four. Well, they were concentrating on Williams on the screen and they left Freeman open, which is not usually a good course of action. Her shot rims out. Conroy gets a hand on it. Manages to pick it up off the ground. Forward to Williams. That's a nice pass to Freeman. Hazelden out in front. Great transition from GB, but Hazelden can't convert. Foul called on Conroy on the rebound. Three thirty-four left in this first half. Spain seventeen, Great Britain twenty-eight. Charlie Moore returns. Carrigill gets a break. Please. Traveling violation. Just one too many pushes there. Williams, under pressure, gets it over the halfway line to Freeman. Now Hazelden. Hazelden into Conroy, back to Hazelden. Nice give and go. Foul called as Hazelden got to the uh, basket. An extravagant wave off the uh, shot from the uh, referee. It's the fourth team foul, so it'll be an end line ball. Back to Hazelden. Williams draws iron. Ooh, Freeman nearly knocked that one loose. Spain, though, still with the ball. Ruiz, very interruption. Zudair doesn't have much time here. Oh, that's not a great foul. Charlie Moore. It's two shots as Great Britain are over the limit right at the end. 1.5 on the shot clock. You don't want to gamble in that situation. Let's see what they could do in terms of getting a shot up from there. It was going to be a tricky one. However, Beatrix Zuder got it away. Now she gets a slightly easier task of uh, uncontested shots from the foul line, although the first is off the mark.
ten point game. And Conroy was open for a second there. But uh, Zuda able to prevent Williams from getting hope, hold of the ball and looking down court. Conroy spies the lane, drives towards it. Red shirts collapse to prevent a game through. Here's Freeman. Nice fast break. Zudair is there. Zudair will lay it in. 2.11 to go in the ball game. And Great Britain are going to call a timeout. Their lead is down to eight. They did get as many as 16 in front. But Spain have halved it here. Big two minutes. You add four, six points either way. And it's a very different complexion at halftime. Just over two minutes to play in the first half in this uh, women's classification playoff 7-8 game. Great Britain with an eight-point lead, but they've turned the ball over. And that lead is getting more and more precarious. Oh, a foul called there and it's going to be two shots it's a bit of an innocuous one i think it was joy hazelden preventing or trying to create some space i think to allow conroy to get back down court and in the process committing a foul look it's in that Egelouche at the uh, free throw line, makes the second, and gets her first points, foul called. Egelouche now called for the foul. Both teams over the limit, so free throws at one end to free throws at the other. Second one is good. Eight points between the sides. GB trying to disrupt this Spanish possession. That's going to be a foul off the ball on Spain as Williams hits the deck. It's uh, she's call for the foul. That's her uh, second in quick succession. Just there. My hands went up to say, it wasn't me, ref. <laughs> I think it was, said the official. Well, it's an offensive foul, so there's not free throws on an offensive foul, which is why Great Britain have a sideline ball. Conroy. Well, 
think she got caught in two minds there. She was thinking pass at first, and then that affected her shot. Zudair in transition, stopped by Freeman. Player down. Ortega back on the wheels. Chocolate needs to go up. Not sure there's time for the pass. Now, even if Ruiz did get that off in time, it wasn't the sort of shot she's known for. Put her in a really awkward spot. Minute and some change to go here in the first half. Great Britain, who've led by as many as 16, trying to get it back into double figures. Charlie Moore rattles it in. And Britain are up 10. Reese. Sudair let's fly. Easy rebound for Laurie Williams. Freeman going quick. Oh, good position from Conroy. Freeman saw her underneath. And Amy Conroy drops in another two. Games high of 10. Ooh, thrown into the backcourt. Turnover again by Spain. That's their third backcourt violation. It is their 16th turnover of the first half. They're going to have to take better care of the ball in the second half, the Spanish. And here's Conroy underneath again. Squares up. I think that was off a Spanish hand, says the referee. And Lush, I think, touched it. 2.4 left in this quarter. It's into Conroy, sets herself on the buzzer. Front iron. Well, they started tremendously well, Great Britain, led by 16 in the first quarter. Spain replied. It looked like they were clawing their way all the way back, but Great Britain had the better of the last couple of minutes there. And we're at the half at the Ariaki Arena. Spain, 21, Great Britain, 33. Well, the two teams will have their discussions at halftime. Looking for areas of improvement. I'm sure the Spanish will be talking about taking better care of the ball. It's very difficult to win a basketball game when you keep giving the other team the ball, as they have done. Great Britain have 14 points off turnovers. They lead by 12, and 14 of them have come from Spanish mistakes. And that, I'm sure, will be a hot topic of conversation as we look back over the action in this first half, and as I say, the third quarter, at the start of the second quarter, Great Britain were looking like they were giving their whole lead away. Spain were much more comfortable getting the ball over midcourt, but when GB have pressed, they've pressed hard, and Spain have not really dealt with it very well. And that is why at the interval, it is a 12-point lead for the team in white, and uh, they will head off to the locker rooms. And you can see the shooting percentage is not too different. It's the biggest difference 
is 24 shot attempts versus 34 shot attempts. It's hard to keep up with the team when you give them 10 more shots than you've, you've got. And they've got more free throws, so that just talks to more possessions overall for Great Britain. 16 turnovers, 14 points off them. That's the key difference of the first half, and that is why it's Spain 21, Great Britain 33.
Well, the two coaches going through their pre-game uh, or pre-second half chats and uh, I just get the sense that these first few minutes are going to be critical in the destination of the victory here. Spain need to start chipping away at this lead. There's still 20 minutes to go, so there's a ton of time, but you just look at the scoreboard and go, well, if Great Britain gets, I don't know, an 8-2 start or a 10-2 start or something, they'll be in the 40s, and Spain have only scored 21 points in the first half. They only average 40 points per game. So how will Spain be able to drag it back in, which is why I think the Spanish need a good start to this third quarter. And Gabriel Navarro, who didn't play in the first quarter, gets us underway in the second half. And can Spain get their offense ticking? Yes, they can. That's a perfect start. Perez with the shot. And it's down to 10. Moore and Freeman, Williams, Conroy, Hazelden. The 5 4 Great Britain, and it's Freeman on the baseline who replies with two of her own. Ortega with Welter, Perez, Alonso, and Navarro, the five that start the second half for Spain. Navarro to Perez. Oh, it's just a little bit too high. Maria Alonso had the position. It just needed a better executed pass. Williams to Freeman on the trail down the lane. Forced back out. Sets herself for a shot off the glass. Oh, you've got to stop the ball. Moore comes over to help. Maybe a little bit too late, but to be fair to Charlie Moore, she was doing her own defensive duties and probably needed a shout to come over and help on Perez. See, Perez is going. Nobody gets there. By the time the shout comes, Charlie Moore can't do too much about it. Here's Hazelden. Misses. Marino, the heave forward, off. Oh. Just bounced nicely for Perez. They're still struggling a little bit with that Spain. But this is much better in terms of their half-court offense. When they do get into the half-court, they don't look too bad. But the problem is getting there and not turning the ball over. Here's Williams. Conroy down to Freeman. Her shot misses. Perez with the rebound. Again, another turnover. It was going to be an eight seconds if she hadn't thrown it straight to Freeman. Williams driving through. Otega's going to get called for the foul. There's a timeout here early in the uh, third quarter. Great Britain with it. They've been outscored six to two. Their lead is down to eight.
Keep spacing. Keep the spacing. Over pass. If you want to get it back behind the first ball. If you hit space, it's not a problem. It's going to work for each other. Take a breath. Hey, he's facing an identified threat. You know what's going on out there. Tokyo 2020, we're at the Ariaki Arena for this uh, classification game to decide who will finish seventh and eighth in the women's wheelchair basketball. And it's Great Britain who have the advantage at the moment. And the ball. Conroy knocks it down. Amy Conroy has 12. Just fading backwards. But kept her eyes on the rim the whole time. Navarro. Perez. Volta with a good screen there. Williams with the rebound. Freeman looking to go. Hazelden takes two defenders away. That creates some space for Freeman. Down to Moore and gets absolutely hammered across the face by Maria Alonso Lorino. Oh, Conroy saw some daylight for a second there. Navarro has certainly made an impact here in the four minutes she's played in the second half. And tapped away by Conroy. It'll go out of bounds, but will it beat the shot clock out of bounds? Yes, it will. There's 1.3 on the shot clock for Spain. It was one of them they were hoping the ball would go a little bit quicker there to give them a bit more time. It's going to have to be a heck of a pass and a quick shot. Got to try and get somewhere near the rim. It's going to be a violation before Perez can get the shot away. So another turnover for Spain. Freeman. Rebound pulled in by Perez. Trying to work her way over half court. Conroy committing the offense. Number one, number two, sorry, on Amy Conroy. Ooh, that gave Freeman a chance, but uh, Perez was able to hang on to it in a super pass. Oh, but a blown layup there. Maria Alonso should have scored. Freeman around the screen from Conroy, who now has the size mismatch on the uh, switch, and she takes full advantage of it. Ortega. Maria Alonso. Inside. With Welter. Nearly.
Freeman back out to Williams. Williams' shot is up, and it rims in. Friendly bounce. Great Britain's lead is back out to 14. Have they weathered the Spanish storm here in the third quarter? Quite possibly, because they've forced another one. Hazelden getting in to the paint. And there must have been some contact in there as Joy Hazelden went through. Virginia Perez is the offender. Well, four minutes and 13 seconds to go in the game. And uh, my assistant coach, David Benito Sanchez, has to call a timeout here. They scored six of the first eight, but they've given up the last six in this period. Williams inbounds. Conroy, tough catch, great finish. And Great Britain have matched their biggest lead of the ball game. It's back out to 16. Spain needs something here just to stop this momentum. Montiel, another one where they've Caught the ball right on the halfway line. Dangerous place. Here's Navarro, surely. No. Mm, offensive foul on Helen Freeman. In a hurry to get down court, Zudair. Stationary and Freeman colliding into her for the charge. Nice. Oh, that was a more difficult shot for Navarro. Freeman. Hazelden. Conroy, good cut through the lane, takes the time and drops it in. Eighteen now for Amy Conroy. You may say Great Britain have perhaps struggled for a consistent scorer through this tournament. She's certainly bringing a big number here today. Shot clock needs to go up. It's going to be another 24-second violation. In fact, GB can play because they've come away with the ball. Four on two. Williams to Conroy. And Great Britain have their biggest lead of the game at 18 points. Well, Spain started this quarter really well. They trimmed the deficit. But Great Britain have been on a tear since then. into the quarter it was 27 35 it's now 29 47 so a 12 to 2 burst by 
GB. And they're looking to extend that as well because Freeman has the rebound. Hazelden out in front. Three back for the Spanish, but here come the cavalry. And Conroy is up to 20. And Great Britain's lead is up to 20. Still they pressure the Spanish. Ooh. That was a fortunate call there for Spain because the pass was well overcooked. But Conroy committing the foul at the half court means it will be a sideline ball. Her third personal foul. Montiel, rebound Hazelden. Again, Great Britain looking to get out. Williams and Conroy. Hazelden coming fast too. Here she is. Hazelden to the glass. Oh, couldn't get a roll on that one. Chock clock needs to get it over. Big heave. Ooh, I think that might have been generous there. I'm not sure they quite made the eight seconds on that. Well, one or two on the Spanish are asking if this is an unsportsmanlike foul. I think it's not because she's going into her shot motion. And once you're going into the shot motion, it ceases to be unsportsmanlike unless it's a hard foul. They might double check this, though. They are going to go to the review and have a look. Fourth foul on Amy Conroy. So it looks like Robin Love in the background is coming into the game. My first take is that um, Lourdes Ortega has picked the ball up to go into her shot routine, and therefore it, it's not an unsportsmanlike foul. If it had been 10 feet further back, it would have been. But what, let's see what the referees come up with. There's a guilty-looking face there, isn't there? Well, they've come to a conclusion. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is an unsportsmanlike foul. So, two and possession. trying to get our first point of the game here. It is difficult. One point player from the free throw line. You can see she just has a little momentum to get her to the line to give her a slightly better shot at it. So no points from the free throws. Can they get something from the possession? Zudair penetrates. Shot clock again getting low. And it's another shot clock violation. So the unsportsmanlike foul doesn't cost Great Britain any points. It does cost them the participation of Amy Conroy, though, because she's on four. Freeman to love. And, well... <laughs> it's not helped them any, has it? It's not helped Spain any at all. Conroy goes off, having scored freely. On comes Love in her stead, and straight away scores and forces a turnover. So Great Britain can get the last shot of a very good third quarter if uh, Williams can keep in the front court, and she does, but was being pushed by Montiel trying to 
make that a backcourt violation. So it'll be a sideline ball to Great Britain. That's her fourth foul, by the way. Moore back to Freeman. Driving all the way. Moore on the buzzer, strings it to cap. A tremendous third quarter for Great Britain. They've scored 20 points in that period. They've given up only eight. And uh, they conceded only two points in the last eight minutes of that period. And Great Britain have romped out to a 53-29 advantage. Wow. You can see the turnovers and the points from turnovers continue to rise. Great Britain getting basically a point every time Spain lose possession of the ball. And they're losing possession of the ball on a regular occurrence. It started so well for Spain. They cut the lead down to uh, eight. They seem to have all of the momentum. But as these highlights will show here in the third quarter, it suddenly became one-way traffic for Great Britain. Spain just couldn't. This was the moment. They only scored one basket after that. Spain and Conroy was uh, on fire in that third, taking her own personal tally up to 22. And then the lead out past 20 as well. Saw there Lucy Robinson into the game for the first time as Great Britain get us underway here in the third quarter. Here's Love back to Williams. Oh, that's not a very good pass. Moore didn't have much of a chance of getting that. Montiel playing despite the four fouls. Ruiz back to Montiel, driving in, off the mark. Williams in her eye line. Here comes Hazelden. Hazelden lobbing it forward to Robinson underneath. Kicks it out to Moore. And same spot as she scored at the end of the quarter. She scores at the start of the next. And Great Britain pulling yet further clear. And the big three off the mark, but an offensive rebound and put back inside from Isabel Lopez. Hazelden. Love moves the ball on. Robinson, her first shot of the game is good. Two points for Lucy Robinson. screen getting inside Hazelden with the help defense GB recovering well foul is called number 12 shown to the table that's Lucy Robinson's first Well, the 
as far down as they are. They need every point they can get. So these missed free throws don't help. Robinson with the rebound. Ooh. Just lost control of the ball there. Perez. Oh, pass too soon there. Needed to wait a second. Isabel Lopez was just spinning into position. It was the right pass. It just wasn't the right time. Hazelden forward to Robinson. Love wants it. More. Not quite. Spain get a stop, but they need some points to go with it. They've got to string something together here, the Spanish, with seven and a half minutes to go. Well, that's a bit more like it, but Revelta can't finish. Love has it. Forward to Robinson. Williams. Good screen from Robinson. Frees up Williams. Oh, and the rebound bounces off Perez and out of bounds. Well, both the players in the shot there will be disappointed. Williams knows she should have scored. Perez should have got the rebound. Substitutions for Great Britain. Sean Fitzpatrick coming into the game for the first time alongside Thompson and Carrigill. Williams working the pick and roll with Fitzpatrick and that is going to be a foul on Montiel and that is going to be her game over her fifth and final foul and Medina Montiel not quite had the impact she would have liked and leaves the fray. Love batted away, but only as far as Love, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Fitzpatrick with the illegal screen. Nice move, Ruiz, Ruiz driving through the lane. And the captain trying to inspire her team here. 40 years of age, plenty of experience. Misses them both, but a good offensive rebound and put back from Lopez. Williams to Love. Love has Thompson to one side, Fitzpatrick to the other. Goes to Thompson to Fitzpatrick. And I think Zuder might have got a little piece of that from behind. Good ball movement. And Luis with the assist, Lopez with the basket. Thompson to Love. Love one-handed off the glass. 
Ball is loose, Fitzpatrick saves it. Love. Fitzpatrick trying to create some space for Love's shot. Oh, that's a lovely take. Bounce pass had a lot of power on it from Zudair. Out of bounds for a Great Britain ball. to love. Back to Carragher. Nice ball movement. Love is fouled and will shoot two. Ooh, and that looks like a painful one there for Evolush. Went down hard. I don't know if she banged her elbow. Might get to see here. There's a collision. It goes out. Oh, she landed on the chair. That one will be painful. Oh, I think they need to be careful lifting her back up here. some blood in there as well. So she will have to leave the court. Oh, that looks like it might have blown up pretty quickly there. Hit very hard on the point of the elbow on the front of the chair. And she will get some treatment. In the meantime, there'll be a timeout. We're just under five to play. Spain, 35, Great Britain, 57. Baskets by Great Britain is the reason they lead by 22 points. And the reason they've made 10 more baskets is because they've taken 16 more shots. <laughs> 24 turnovers is the thing that's really killed the Spanish in this game. Well, remarkably, <laughs> they've managed to uh, strap up um, Agatons Egelouche, stop the bleeding, get some tape on, and she's back out there. That's uh, A, some nifty work from the uh, medical staff on the Spanish sidelines, and B, tremendous to be out there having sustained a blow like that. She wants to get straight back in, doesn't even want a minute to recuperate. She's there. And uh, going the wrong way out of bounds, Lopez. Love, showing good ball handling skills there to bring that back up. Thompson with the mid-range shot. 
six now for Maddie Thompson. Two tests, three, way off the mark. Thompson. Thompson all the way to the basket. Good screen at midcourt from Shiv Fitzpatrick. Lopez. Ruiz. Bit of space at the top for Lopez. Thirteen personal points for her. Love takes the shot, draws iron. Ooh, Lopez <laughs> went chasing after it and then went, actually, I'll let that go out of bounds. Didn't want to get a hand on it and accidentally give it back to Great Britain. And Michaela Bell and Jude Hamer into the game. For the last three minutes of this Paralympic Games for these two teams here in Tokyo. Looks uh, all but confirmed that Great Britain will finish seventh and Spain eighth. Unless we see one of the all time, not one of, the all time greatest comeback in the last three minutes. Here's Fitzpatrick. Bell onto Carragill. Out to Thompson. Offensive foul called on Sophie Carragill. In Spain, they're going to make wholesale substitutions. Four players coming on, four going off. Well, dying embers of this game, Great Britain with a monster lead. Put back is good for um, Nuna, uh, Navarro. Fitzpatrick. Carragill. Here's Fitzpatrick. Short on her shot. Top of the key, off the mark. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson, great screen from Fitzpatrick, or is it? No, it's not. It's an offensive foul.
Here's Perez as we approach the final minute of this contest. A rebound fought for between Perez and Fitzpatrick. Not sure who touched it last. It must have been Fitzpatrick because it's a Spanish ball. side let's travel well she doesn't look convinced but it looked like one from here and I'm a lot further away than the referee who called it Bell almost loses it, but Carrigill keeps it for Great Britain. Fitzpatrick is underneath, but the pass is a little too high. Spain looking for one more score here. Look at that from uh, Thompson. <laughs> the last few seconds aggressively going after that. She enjoyed that, I think. Look at the smile on her face. Possession arrow favors the Spanish. So they will get one more chance to get a couple more points. They've been right about their average. And uh, unfortunately, they haven't kept Great Britain down. Great Britain have been well above their average in terms of points scored in this uh, Paralympic Games. 15 seconds for Great Britain to run off before finishing seventh in this tournament. Will they try for one more score? And they have to get it over half court to avoid the violation. It is through to Thompson who will, I think, just dribble it out. And that will do it in this women's classification playoff. And it is Great Britain who will finish seventh in the competition, having beaten Spain here as the coaches embrace at half court. It's finished Spain 43, Great Britain 62. Amy Conroy, a big performance for her for 22 points. And really that eight minute spell in the third quarter, they already had control of the game Great Britain but they put Spain to the sword with a uh, strong third they ended up winning that period by 12 points and uh, there was no way of recovering from there for the Spanish well they've matched their 1992 effort the last time they were in the Paralympics Spain. They were eighth then, and they are eighth again here. But a creditable couple of weeks for them here in Tokyo as they return to the Paralympic stage. These are shooting numbers, the biggest ones down the bottom. 25 turnovers, 24 points from turnovers for Great Britain. And that's why they had so many shots, more than the Spanish. And the flags have come out as Great Britain will uh, just have a few words to reflect on the journey they've had to get here and their performances here. Likewise, the Spanish. And uh, some of the Spanish contingent in the house to watch out some of the men's players, I think, down in uh, applauding on. And while well, Great Britain will enjoy this, it's a better way to finish than it uh, could have been. Obviously, they were disappointed, very disappointed. We saw from the scenes on court about... Uh, how disappointed they were to lose in the quarterfinals, but they've bounced back 
to claim a win here in this seventh place game. And the tournament has come to an end for these two teams. Well, a smile from Amy Conroy at the end of that and smiles on the British faces as they uh, pose for the photographers on the baseline who want to capture a little action with the flag. Great Britain got off to a tremendous start in this game. Amy Conroy came out really firing, got them an early 16-point lead. Spain replied in the uh, second quarter and uh, at the start of the third, they uh, look like they might be able to make a real run at it, but the turnovers put paid to that. Great Britain cranked up the uh, offense, got plenty of uh, scores in transition, and were able to pull away in the end. It's finished here in the seventh, eighth playoff. Spain 43, Great Britain 62. So the Brits finish seventh and the Spanish eighth.